Welcome back to another episode of Barlow Barbecue. Have you ever tried cooking a rack of ribs over an open fire? That's what we're gonna do today, and we don't really have any expectations, but we're gonna see how tender we can get these. We're gonna head up to our friend Jamie's house. He's got a really cool fire pit, a beautiful view. That's where we're doing today's cook. Don't go anywhere. Let's get started. All right, we made it to Jamie's house. This is Jamie, y'all. You might recognize him if you've been watching our channel for a little bit, because you've already been in a few videos. Yes, indeed. How y'all doing, folks? So we've been coming up to your house for quite a while now doing steaks over an open fire, and I've been really impressed by the setup that Jamie has for the, for the campfire to build a fire with. And I thought it'd be really cool if you could share with everybody how you do that. I've really fallen in love with cooking on the open fire. And one of the things that I found most important about when you set up your fire, you know, from the ground up, you gotta have it, have it a certain way. And I found if I, I make a framework of pieces of wood that's gonna go into the fire, and then I build my fire in the middle of that framework, whether it's a square or a, or a rectangle, um, I can actually contain the heat of the fire as I'm starting it. And then as, uh, as it gets going, it actually forms a really lovely bed for the coals. And one of the most important things about cooking on a campfire is, is controllability and consistency. And uh, having that setup really, uh, really gives that for you. It usually takes a good hour to two hours until yeah, that definitely. fire is ready, right? Yeah, to get those coals to where you want them to be to cook and to have that consistency, you gotta, you gotta let it go for a little while. You don't wanna rush it. So do you wanna take a look at the ribs that we have and we'll get those seasoned up and ready to go. So I've had these ribs in the fridge for about two days with a dry brine of salt. And we've made this really lovely uh, savory coffee rub that we're rubbing these ribs with. Uh, and the description box below has the recipe. So you can find that there if you wanna try it out for yourself. All right, after a couple hours, this fire is finally ready for us to cook the ribs. So Jamie's setting up this really cool tripod hanging grate. It's kind of like the original Santa Maria style grilling. Now the plan is we get the ribs on here and we're gonna cook those until they're probe tender, until it feels like that probe is going into some soft butter. We're gonna flip these every 15 minutes until they're ready. It's been 15 minutes, so it's time to flip these. These are looking really nice so far, so let's give them another 15 minutes and I'll see you real soon. Yeah, the ribs have been going for a total of 30 minutes now, so it's time for another flip. Now we are just curious to see how the ribs are feeling. So we've got a digital thermometer and we're just checking for tenderness. We're not looking at the temperature. And these are definitely feeling like they've got some time to go yet. So let's let them ride. It's been another 15 minutes, folks. Ribs have been cooking for a total of 45 minutes. Let's flip them and let them go. The ribs have been on for a total of one hour and we're giving them a final flip and we want to check for that tenderness and see how they're feeling. These are feeling really good so let's get these off of here, get them sliced up and do a taste test. Ta -da. Ta -da. These look great, guys. These look awesome. Can't wait to try them. You guys made my favorite thing to eat. What's, what's that? What's ribs? that? Nope, something I don't have to make. 
Mm, well, uh, these look great. <laughs> Let's give them a try. Thanks, guys. Got a paper towel. Uh -huh. Got the ready. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good job. I really like that little, little bit of coffee taste you get on there. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's kind it's of subtle. almost nice. Cajun-y. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Jamie, I'll tell you what. These are just as tender as any barbecue smoked ribs that I've ever had. Mm. Clean off the bone. Over a campfire. Yep. You know who do. Yep. <laughs> all right, we want to wrap this up, get inside, finish off the ribs. It's cold out here, so thank you all so much for hanging out with us. We love you. We hope you enjoyed the video. We had a lot of fun doing this. Jamie, thanks for having us up here today. Thanks for coming over. Love being a part of it. It was worth it just putting the fire together. You guys should try this out if you have the time. Nice day. Go outside and enjoy it. All right, we love you. And until next time, we're going to say smoke them if you got them. That's right. Bye-bye.